Welcome to today's Bite Size PD, Steam Integration with Strabis. My name is Chandra Martz and I'll be walking you through this presentation. Professional development norms, be committed, responsible, respectful, and be safe. Today's um, MTSS framework connection is going to be instructional hierarchy. We're gonna be focusing on that application piece. Our learning intentions and success criteria today are, I am learning about Strabis so I can use them in my classroom. The success criteria will be, I will know I'm successful when I can use Destiny to check out Strabis, access the Strabis classroom library, and use Strabis to increase engagement with STEM in my classroom. Our agenda is the equipment checkout process. What is Strabis and an introduction to Strabis classroom? So I just wanted to go through the equipment checkout process with you really quick. First of all, we have five sets of Strabis available for checkout. Um, you can access the Strabis by um, using our destiny.canyonsdistrict.org. So when you go to Destiny, I'm just going to walk you through it really quickly. You are going to choose your school to log in. It's going to look a little bit different because I need to log in a little bit differently. But you will choose your school and then it's going to ask you to log in. When you log in, you're going to use your first dot last name and then you're going to use your password. Your password is going to be different than your normal um, canyonsdistrict.org password. So um, just make sure that you know that. If you need help with that, you can contact your library specialist at your school and they will be able to help walk you through that. So I'm just going to log in the way I need to. When I log in, um, you probably are going to have to go to something um, that's called back office. And then once you get to your back office, you're gonna be able to go to catalog. When you get to catalog, you can go ahead and uh, make sure there's gonna be a button right here that says choose from Canyons District. Go ahead and make sure that that button is clicked and then you can search for either Strabies, and those Strabies will come up for you. Or if you wanna see what else we have available for checkout, you can always search for um, DTL and anything that we have available for checkout, like Dash Robots or iPods, iPads, um, all kinds of stuff will show up here that you can check things out. When you are ready to check something out, once you have searched and you have found what you want to check out, you can go ahead and click on it. And then you can come over here to the right hand side. Let me move my picture and click on the book it button. When you click on the book it button, you will be able to see what dates are available for checkout. Anything in red is not available, but anything that is um, in white is available for checkout. You can check things out for a maximum of 10 days. Um, so that is two weeks in school time. So if I checked it out on the 8th, it would be due back on the 22nd. Usually it would arrive to your school um, the day or two before, and then you just want to make sure that you have it back in your office ready to return on that 22nd date. So uh, most likely they will come and pick it up on the 23rd. If it is a big item like Strabies where it's a big box, um, you will want to have your admin assistant contact the um, warehouse and warehouse will come and pick it up. If it's smaller items, you can go ahead and have um, the district mail pick it up and they will deliver it back. All right, so that is checking out items. Like I said, we have five sets of Strabies available for checkout, which is nice. Um, and like I said, you can check them out through Destiny. If you um, have questions about that, you can always go to the knowledge base article, detail equipment checkout for educators. Um, and that's just through our team dynamics. So tdx at can canyonsdistrict.org search for DTL equipment checkout, and here is the process that you can follow. All right, what are Strabies? What is Strabies, I guess, because it's a kit. Strabies is a building kit for hands-on exploration. Um, basically, these pieces are, allow you to build and make creations, and they can be used at pretty much any age level. You use these straws, 
um, and connectors to put things pieces together. So if you look here, you're going to see that I'm um, yellow, you're going to see red, you're going to see green connectors and blue connectors. Those all mean that they allow different amounts of straws to be connected to them. You can also see um, the length of straws. Okay, so um, we've got yellow length, we've got orange length, we've got pink length, we've actually got blue length and green length as well. It's not pictured here but you're going to be able to see that. Um, the other piece that is not showing here are called micro bits. And I'm going to move over to a different video to explain how to connect these pieces and what those micro bits do. Hey, so I'm going to show you what strawbies are. So strawbies are straws. Um, basically, there are different sizes and um, different sizes of them, and you can use these connectors to connect them. So when you use the connectors, you're going to want to pinch the straw just a little bit, and then you're going to slide it right in. Notice it will go all the way to the end of that connector. Um, you can continue to um, push the straws in, connect to the connector, until you get to start building your shapes. So there are different kinds. This one was, this yellow one was a two. This one is a one connector. And they also have things all the way up to five connectors. So I can, again, push the straw in, bring it up. And then I can actually bend my connectors so that they are the directions I want them to be. So as I'm starting to build with my straws, I can, um, build it the directions, etc., that I want them to go. So notice now I'm starting to make these different shapes. Um, I can start even taking these connectors and I can connect the connector to itself. So for example, I have this blue one, I have the yellow one. If I pinch the blue one in or pinch a connector in, I can easily slide this one in and now it is connected as well. And you can connect multiple like that, but just make sure that when you connect them, that um, you, when it's time to unconnect them, um, pinch again to pull out and make sure that you're only pulling one out at a time. So those are the basics of building with strawbies. Um, as you start getting into more complex projects, we have bought the strawbies um, with the micro bits. And so a micro bit is this little thing right here. It is basically like a mini computer that you can code um, using, um, the make code program for microbit to code on um, our strawbies to be able to do stuff. So basically what ends up happening is you plug this into the computer, you'll be able to connect it to the program, and then you're going to be able to connect this piece right here with the battery to your straws using your connector. And this servo motor is what's going to allow your strawbies to move. So basically you're creating this and then you're going to create an arm to connect to, and then it's going to allow your strawbies to move. And I'll show you an example of that in just a little bit when I show you the crane project. So that is the basics of strawbies. Welcome back to the presentation. Um, now I want to get to, into Strabi's Classroom. Strabi's Classroom is a website that is dedicated to Strabi's and it is free for all educators. Um, so when we are using Strabi's, you're going to want to click on the sign up now button and you're going to use your csddocs.org email address. This will let you um, them know that you are part of Canyons District and that you will be able to get in with your free account. Um, when you go in, it's going to ask you what kind, when you register, it's going to ask you what kind of account um, you will need. And we have a streams class, or, or, sorry, a steam classroom robotics micro bit kit. So um, it's going to look something like this. And you're going to be able to um, either click on it or say that this is what it is. It's going to um, then provide the activities um, that extend to micro bit as well. So let's go ahead and get into the Strabi's um, classroom. I'm going to exit out of our slideshow for just a second. Um, but at any time, you can go back to the slideshow. And basically, I'll be explaining everything that's in here. So the dashboard, the library, and then an example. I'll come back to that in just a second. So I'm going to go ahead and go to strabi's.classroom.com. And when I go to strawbies.classroom.com, the first thing I'm going to do 
when I get to it is I'm going to, again, let me log out of this. I'm going to have to sign up or log in. You'll probably need to sign up, but I'm going to go ahead and log in using my CSD Docs account. So I'm going to continue with Google and it's going to bring me to the dashboard. Our dashboard is going to look like this. I really like this dashboard because number one, it, over on the left, it's going to give me onboarding modules. Um, I'm going to go through this, um, read how to get started with you really quickly, just so it kind of gives you an idea more so of what Strabi's is. But basically, um, as I said before, um, Strabi's are these little straws and these little um, connectors. We also have the robotics kit, which is also going to include these pieces here, including that micro bit and those connectors. Um, why we're using Strabi's, basically we want a collaborative um, problem solving environment for our classrooms where students are able to make and create. They're able to build um, and this can help them build their own story. Um, let me see if I can actually make this bigger at all. Um, so as um, we are going through, basically we're going through a creative process and um, they're able to build. What I love about this is that everything always has um, everything built into it where they're able to engage in those projects. You can send them the link or you can walk them through these projects. Um, so they can do anything by building with these straws, but I really like that um, they're also able to draw or um, cut out extra pieces that they can build what they need to build. So it can be something as simple as them building to make a, a flower, for example, as this one's showing, or it can get as complicated as they are now building building structures. So um, the micro bit, as I told you before, actually allows um, products to move. So for example, if I were to play this video, you would be able to see this hand moving. I highly suggest that you go into this getting started um, a little bit later and just kind of explore with it. And so you'll be also able to see other projects that have been created. Um, as we're getting going through, um, you'll be able to go through each of these pieces and learn more about it. I'm going to go back now so I'm not just um, wasting your time that you can look through this as, um, anyway. But that dashboard is really good um, to help you get started with that onboarding. There's also a training that you can do, and this is actually a three hour training that goes through very in depth of here's how to use Strabi's. Um, and then if you want to do basics, um, this teacher first activity is a great one. All right, I'm going to go through and I'm going to move over um, to the library now. This library um, to me is one of your best resources. The first thing it shows here are your courses. Courses are basically lessons. So it takes multiple, multiple lessons and puts it into a course. I'm going to go into these lessons so you can kind of get a better idea. Um, things that I like about these lessons, they usually go eight, um, about eight year olds up to 14 plus. Um, and you're able to pick a topic if you'd want to, you can pick the product. So if you want to just use um, Steam Classroom, which is going to be for your um, younger grades, and then your um, Steam Robotics can get up into your upper grades. Um, you can choose your age you want. Notice that ages for here are usually seven and up. I'm going to show you where you can get younger grades in just a second. Um, or you can also focus on standards. So maybe you want to focus on ELA or math. Um, maybe you want to focus on ISTE standards, which are our technology standards, okay, or our next generation science standards. There's lots of things that you can choose from to be able to pick what you want to focus on. You may also focus on a grade level, or if you just want to see what's available, you can just scroll down here and see, like, maybe you're working on biomes. Maybe you want them to learn how to build this snake, or maybe you're working on sea life. Um, notice that this one actually includes the micro bit in it.
When you go to it, you'll be able to see the age level and you'll also be able to see this one was probably going to take three and a half hours just because it has other things besides just the building and that coding that they're going to be doing. This one is going to be more like an hour because it's a little bit simpler of a project. Um, so like I said, you can go anything from building very simple like the snake to um, building things where this one allows it to have motion and maybe it's going to throw something. Um, when you go into these projects, I'm just going to go into this one because it's a little bit more complicated. You'll be able to see a few things. First, you're going to be able to see the overview. This overview is going to take you into the lesson structure and what the goals are. So your success criteria. Um, it goes through what materials are going to be needed down to very, very specific as here are how many of each they're going to need and any additional materials they might need that are not included in the kit. Um, it also shows any facilitation or collaboration work that may be done or may need to be done, including reflections and challenges that you could add in. Um, I really like how it has each of these broken down into the steps. So I've got my preparation here. Preparing your students could take this amount of time. Here's the vocabulary that we would want to be using. Okay, and it goes through and gives that vocabulary. And it will also go through um, anything that they need to know. So for example, for this activity, it might be good for them to understand laws of motion. And then it will go through and it will actually even teach pieces of that that you may want to get more um, simplified or more complex depending on your grade level and what you want to do with it. Notice it will also show you, um, like this one talks about simple machines. So it will also show you here, you may be working on building simple machines or here's how it could work with Strabis. Okay, and then it could even go into intro lessons that might help you get there even easier. So for example, here's the more complex. If you wanna go easier, you might wanna introduce them to Newton's three laws of motion and go through this activity instead. It will go through warm up activities that you can go through. Notice it has um, notes that you can share um, with students, or you would just be able to go through it yourself. Um, it will have them go through um, Imagine, the Create section. It will teach them how to build. When they go to build, again, it will go through those pieces. But here's the part that I like it literally goes through step by step. So it's like step one, you're going to do these two things with these tools. And then you'll be able to um, go to our next and it's like, okay, now build this. Go to the next, now build this. Once you start getting more and more complex, it's going to even take you into that actual, if this one has it, um, I missed, I missed it, but it will take you into here's how to code. Um, so I don't know if this one actually has coding or not, but it will take you into those coding pieces of here's how to code that micro bit. It will also have reflection pieces to it and additional challenges. So congratulations, you completed what we asked you to complete. Now, maybe you want to extend it and go through these challenges to see where else you can take this project. Um, things that you can do with this is, yes, you can do it on your own. Or the thing that I like here is that you are able, let's see if I can move this up. Um, you are able to go through and assign it to students by adding it to a course. You can add it to favorites if you want, or you can share it. If you assign it to students, you can um, copy the link and put it easily into like your Canvas course, or you can actually add it to a Strabi's course where you can name the course You can add this resource to that course, and then you can come down here, view your course. It's going to click there. And notice I've got my Strabi's course, and it has the activity in there that the students can now go through. When you are adding it to the students, um, the student side is actually going to be more simple than what you're going to see as a teacher, um, because they're not going to see a lot of these teacher notes that the teacher sees. But it's the same concept, the same idea. Um, things I like about Strabies is that there is no student accounts needed because once you give them that course access um, through that link, that's all they need. They don't need to log into this. They don't need to 
um, come back to it with that login. It's just go to the um, course, click on the link, and it will have those resources available for your students. All right, um, so that is going through a lesson. Activities are a lot simpler. Um, notice that when I'm looking at a, let me go back to my lesson, those lessons usually are about an hour, an hour and 35, up to three hours. Okay, our courses go longer than that. But when I'm going into these activities, notice that these activities are like 30 minute activities. So they're a lot shorter, um, but I like them because they start at age four. So when we're starting to teach students about shapes, they can actually go and build their own shapes. Going into seasons, they can actually go through and build um, like an umbrella, for example, or, or a um, snowflake. They can go in and build modes of transportation, or maybe you're focusing on the world around them and cultures and different things like that. Notice they've got the world, cultures. There's all kinds of things that kids can build with strabies. Or if you want them to be even more creative instead of following a lesson, if we come down to this channel down here, I really like this pocket of ideas. Let me go back so you can see it a little bit better. Um, but there's different things. These ri ridiculous inventions are crazy things that people have made that are really cool. This pocket full of ideas, it gives kids ideas of here's what you could build or have you thought about building this? Um, so they could seek the inventor um, generator where they're able to uh, it will give them a clue or it will give them an idea of here, try making something like this and they will have to um, build it without it giving a lot of instruction. But there's lots of things that can be built. So it's like design a way to climb a glacier or help the Loch Ness Mar Monster. So there's different ideas that just help that creativity process. Um, also in the library, um, so these are more student focused with the courses, lessons, activities, and channels, but you're like, you know what, I'm stuck. I don't know what to do. That's where this teacher support can come in. Um, that 15 minute thing that with that getting started with STEAM Classroom, that's showing up right here. Um, the teacher training, okay, there's lots of them. Um, if, so for example, if you wanna learn how to start using those strabies a little bit easier, or maybe you wanna start getting into the make code. So you're learning how to code that micro bit. Um, that's gonna help you with these. Um, here's your make code coding card. So those can help you a lot. Um, and then how to basic, your basic setup. Okay, there's lots of different instructions that can help you. Or if you just wanna know how you, it connects to curriculum and alignment, that can be done here. Um, so there's lots of different resources that can be um, used and utilized as well um, that are available for you. Um, that is the basics of our Strabi's classroom. I'm going to come back here. Again, you can go to access it, go to strabi's or classroom.strabi's.com. And now I'm just going to show you one quick example. And that is going to be this one right here. So basically, I followed this lesson here. I went through and then the final product was this um, crane here. And I'm just gonna show you, it has the micro bit that you can see right here included. And basically their goal was that they're gonna be able to get that crane to lift and lower. So if you watch, that crane is gonna raise and lower based off that micro bit. Here's our servo and there's the arm that is helping it do so. All right, so that is the end of our Strabi's lesson. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Um, I, again, my name is Chandra Martz, and thanks for joining. If you'd like relicense your credit, you can go and fill out this form right here, and it will lead you to your relicensure. Thanks. Have a great day.